Amelia Bedelia for Bedelia's first apple pie by Herman Parrish, pictures by Lynn Everell. Amelia Bedelia was visiting her grandparents. It was a glorious autumn afternoon, the perfect day to rake leaves and piles and run around the yard. Fall is in the air, said Grandpa. Dad, Granddad, and Amelia Bedelia looked up. So are the birds, said Amelia Bedelia. Yeah, V, W, what are they trying to spell? Just then, Aunt Bedelia's, Amelia Bedelia's grandma came outside. Quick, said Granddad, look busy. But it was too late. Hey, lazy bones, Grandma said jokingly. If you're just going to stand around, I've got a job for you. What do you need, Granddad asked. Apples, said Grandma. I made pie dough. If you'll get some apples, I'll teach Amelia Bedelia how to bake an apple pie. Mm. Grandma's apple pie was Amelia Bedelia's favorite. Hooray, she yelled. Race up you to the car. She started to run but tripped over a branch and landed right in the pile of leaves. Whoosh! How was your trip? asked Grandad as he helped her up. Fun, she said. Fall is in the air and on the ground, too. Grandad smiled and said, watch your step. Amelia Bedelia tried to watch her steps, but it made her dizzy to look down at her feet all the time. Amelia Bedelia and Grandad were already in the car when Grandma called out, be sure to pick up Granny Smith. Who is Granny Smith? Is she helping us make the pies? Asked, Amelia Bedelia asked. You bet, Granddad said. We couldn't do it without her. Amelia Bedelia and Granddad drove to the country, into the country. Your supermarket is far away, said Amelia Bedelia. We aren't going to the supermarket, said Granddad. We're going to the app. We'll get our apples on the farmer's market. What? asked Amelia Bedelia. Do you need to buy a farmer? No, said Grandad, laughing. The apples are much fresher. Apples are good for me, right? asked Amelia Bedelia. Oh, yes, said Grandad. Apples are an apple a day keeps the doctor away. They're good for your teeth, too. Folks call them natural. Nature's toothbrush. Hey, Grandad, said Amelia Bedelia, if I eat an apple a day, I won't have to go to the doctor or dentist ever again. Grandad smiled. I wish it worked that way, Pumpkin, he said. Grandad picked a, out, up a bright green apple, polished it on his jacket, and tossed it to Amelia Bedelia. Nice catch, he said. Meet Granny Smith. Amelia Bedelia took a loud, crunchy bite. Granny is yummy, she said. Bushel baskets overflowed with red, yellow, orange, pink, and green apples. Some apples were stripes, or spots, or splotches. The colors reminded Amelia Bedelia of autumn. While Granddad chose apples to buy, Amelia Bedelia read the names out loud. One kind was called delicious, but they all looked tasty to her. And it's the different types of Duchess, Pink Pearl, Northern Light, Granny Smith, Delicious, Golden Nugget, Royal Gale, Blaze, Winter Banana, Green Sleeves, and Black Twig ban Apples. When they got home, Grandma went right to work quarrying and peeling the apples. Amelia Bedisha measured to see which was the longest. Grandma cut each apple into two pieces, then into four pieces, and then into eight pieces. Finally, she sprinkled sugar and cinnamon on the slices. Next, Grandma pulled out all of her pie pans, hunting for just the right one. Amelia Bedelia found a tiny pan. Is this a toy, she asked? No, said Grandma. That is a real pie pan. It's just really small. Ah, here's the one I want. Now, please get me a little flour. Sugar Plum. Amelia Bedelia spied a small flower in the windowsill and she picked it up. Here you go, Grandma, she said. Thanks, sweetie, said Grandma. Then she showed Amelia De Bedelia. We should she kept the flour she used for baking. 
grandma rolled out the dough and it got flatter and thinner. It got rounder and bigger. Grandma said, careful, watch your fingers. Amelia Bedelia took her hands off the table. She washed her fingers very carefully. They looked pretty boring. She wondered why she had to do this to make an apple pie. Now we need a sprinkle of flour, said Grandma. Amelia Bedelia reached into the sack of flour, grabbed the handful, and sprinkled it all over her head. Grandma laughed. No, not on us, she said, on the dough. Amelia Bedelia sprinkled some on the dough, too. At last, said Grandma, we're going to put the pie together. Um, That's exactly what Grandma and Amelia Bedelia did. Then Grandma popped the pie in the oven, set the timer, and started to clean up the kitchen. That's when Amelia Bedelia had the idea. She took the leftover doll and rolled it into two small circles. She put one in the little pie pan, filled it with the extra apples, and plopped the other circle on top. Then she crimped the edges all around. A smidge of dough was left, so she made a little flower, a tiny daisy to decorate the top. Your mom and dad will be here soon, said Grandma. Then we'll have a pie party. Yippee, said Amelia Bedelia. Grandma heard the commotion, Granddad heard the commotion and came into the kitchen. What are you celebrating, he said. Honey, said Grandma. Amelia Bedelia made her first apple pie. After Grandma took her pie out of the oven, Amelia Bedelia carefully and secretly slid hers in. I'm going to set this outside to cool, said Grandma. It was time to get ready for the party. Grandma hummed as she set the table. Soon Grandad was whistling the same tune. Outside, the birds were chirping and tweeting and singing like mad. Listen, said Amelia Bedelia. It sounds like the birds are having a party, too. My pie, exclaimed Grandma. They ran outside. The pie was covered with birds. Scram! Holla, Grandma. Shoo! Shoo! Amelia Bedelia took off her shoe and handed it to Grandma, but it was too late. Our pie, said Amelia Bedelia. Gone, said Grandma. Just then, Amelia Bedelia's parents arrived. Amelia Bedelia started to started to em- stare at the empty pie pan. Gee, he said, couldn't wait for us. The birds ate our pie, said Amelia Bedelia. What birds? asked her mom. I think they were swallows, said Grandad. They sure were, said Amelia Bedelia. They swallowed the whole thing. Well, sweetheart, said Amelia Bedelia's mother, let's imagine how good it would have tasted while we eat our ice cream. The whole family tried to enjoy the ice cream and not think about the pie, but it was impossible. We made the best pie, said Amelia Bedelia. It was a thing of beauty, said Grandma. It would have been delicious, said Granddad. It was a perfect pie, said Amelia Bedelia. Her lower lip trembled. She let out a sob. You know, said Amelia Bedelia's father, Just hearing you talk about the pie makes me think I can smell a fresh-baked pie coming out of the oven. My pie, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. They raced to the kitchen. Grandma took the the tiny pie out of the oven and sat it on the table. There it was, bubbling hot and baked to perfection. They all gathered around to gaze at though it was a brand-new baby. It's absolutely perfect, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Just like Grandma, said Grandad, only smaller, said Amelia Bedelia. And you made it all by yourself, said Grandma. That's this time, said Amelia Bedelia's father, let's let the pie cool down in the house. But no one could wait. Grandma cut the tiny piece for everyone. She took a tiny bite and declared this is the best apple pie I have ever tasted. Amelia Bedelia was so big, smile was so big that it was hard for her to eat. Thank you, Grandma, she said, and thank you, Granny. Granny who, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Granny Smith, said Amelia Bedelia. She made all of our apples in the first place.